Hello everyone, welcome back to Calkine TV. This is Sage and you're watching the Executive Corner Expert Talks and on today's show we have with us Mr Nick Thompson, the Director of Facecruit and we'll be delving into the space of human resources to hear today's expert talk about digitisation in the field. So we bring you the industry leaders, successful business owners, all under the one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock markets. So today we're very lucky to share some space with Mr Nick Thompson, Director of Face Recruit. Welcome Nick, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you as well. Thank you. So to give the viewers a little bit of background, Facecruit eliminates the need for an extensive interview process because candidates are no longer just words on a page. They are people with personalities. Now that definitely sounds good to me, so I'm sure we're keen to find out more. Um, Nick, could you please share your insights with our viewers today? Facecruit has significantly streamlined the recruitment process for businesses. What was the inspiration behind launching this online video interview system, please? Yes, yeah, so I was. My background uh, when I was a younger lad was in uh, um, sales management, and the sales process of hiring a lot of salespeople. You obviously uh, needed to see what their skills were like and um, how they presented themselves and how they spoke, etc. Um, so I thought that at, at first there's got to be a quicker process um, than just reading a resume and not really understanding what that person's like. And when I was in, I got to recruitment. There were some, uh, I say, average resumes, but there was a limited amount of candidates that uh, I could actually uh, uh, get in for particular jobs. So I got them into the office anyway. And I realized they had really good uh, communication skills uh, uh, and what their resume was portraying wasn't really um, correct in regards to their face-to-face -face values and what they could bring forward in their discussions with me. And a lot of them end up getting the job. Fantastic. Well, please explain, if you could, how Facecruit eliminates the need for an extensive interview process. You've touched on it a bit in your previous answer. How does it help yeah. both the potential employees and employers? If you could elaborate. Yeah, sure. Well, as an employee, employer, you can um, pre-screen pre uh, um, candidates anywhere, 24-7. You know, um, you're not locked in, the, the employer's not locked into an appointment time because the face group platform lets you invite candidates based on um, a time uh, that ends. So you might say, okay, we want you to complete the interview and we want you to complete it by seven days. And so the candidate has the flexibility of doing the interview at their home or wherever they feel it's comfortable and they know they have a cutoff date to complete that. Um, it also saves time and money in travelling to appointments for both the, the candidate and the employer flying into state, etc. Um, sitting in a hotel interviewing people. Um, and also, um, candidates respond to the questions that the employer chooses. So, um, they're answering questions under a time limit and being recorded, and the employer then can uh, rate those answers and also share the, those answers with reviewers. So, maybe other managers, an HR manager, maybe taking on taking the job on board. But they want to share those uh, ca good candidates with their line managers and get their feedback. Oh, fantastic. That definitely sounds like a very convenient process. And there has been an yes. increased use of technology recently in hiring due to the coronavirus pandemic. Has this downturn impacted your business? Was it what's caused you to create the innovation? Uh, we had the innovation prior to the COVID. Um, and obviously, uh, the business uh, increased during COVID because of people were you know, um, isolated and in their homes, etc. and businesses were working from home. But we did find out we have two sides to our um, uh, platform. We have the employer side, which is using it for a video tool to, to recruit candidates. But we also have on our other side, a free video resume platform. So we found during COVID that um, people couldn't get to interviews, so they're sending resumes through, but now they are doing a digital resume with a link to uh, a, a personalised video showcase of themselves as part of their application. So that side of the business definitely increased. Fantastic. So it really allows people to put their best foot forward when looking for their Correct. Yeah, job. Correct. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. How so it's just been great. Um, 
the, the job seeker side uh, or the candidate side of the platform, you know, they can add their own testimonials. They can add video references or mentors to talk about them. Um, so it really is a good showcase for candidates to present themselves to future employers rather than just the standard simple old resume, which we feel that uh, is a little bit antiquated these days. Exactly. It can be more time efficient as well when a job may require more eloquent and confident speaking skills rather than just writing skills. I suppose it'll help people to eliminate Correct. talent. Yeah. So how yeah. is Face Recruit, sorry, Face Recruit helping people uh -huh. who lost jobs during COVID-19? Yeah, well, that's what I was talking about before. The people who lost jobs are using more of our job seeker side of our platform where they were creating a showcase about themselves and sending it off to employers, okay. um, trying to uh, have that point of difference between other applicants applying for positions. Um, you know, so you could create content or questions about yourself. And so if you're applying, let's say, for a simple job like a, um, uh, a barista or in the uh, uh, customer service industry, you could create content and answer those questions like why I make a, why I make a great barista. Um, how I handle um, customer complaints, uh, how I upsell products uh, in the retail industry or in the service industry. Um, and so they, they're telling a story that you can't find in that resume. So that's how during COVID we help job seekers uh, in regards to the platform. Um, so that was quite big there in, in that period. Thank you. So we've noticed in the last few months that expansion and investment into digital brands in the APEC region has grown as well. In your opinion, what do you see as the upcoming trends for growth in the video interview software business? And do you have any plans for expansion yourself? Yeah, um, good question. Um, obviously, it's a digital age. Everyone's used to video now based on the pandemic. Um, so with Zoom and you know, all these other platforms that are out there, you know, Google Hangouts. Um, and so where you weren't using video before, you were kind of forced or directed or trained to learn video technology. Um, you know, you can see people always on their phones now, they're either watching YouTube video, everyone's, you know, uh, has an understanding of technology now. So because of the great time saving techniques and, and the, we're changing now, the innovation is here to stay. And if anything, it's getting bigger and bigger and growing. We have noticed it because we have more competitors now in the market doing similar things to ourselves. So, um, you know, obviously they can see it's a, a, a growing phase in, in this type of industry. Fantastic. Nick, we'll have to wind up there. Thank you so much for sharing That's your okay, insights. Nick. Yeah, no worries. Um, Lovely to meet you and uh, all the best. Thank you very much. And viewers, if you've just joined us, that was Mr. Nick Thompson, the director of Face Crude. And if you'd like to watch the full interview, it is available at the YouTube channel, Calkine Media, in the next couple of days. So please check it out there. And as we say here at Calkine, invest wise and stay apprised. And of course, stay tuned. We have more live expert talks and market updates shortly. Sage signing off.